All right, music producers, this is a question a lot of you guys have been asking is how do you place the storage presets and samples, all nine gigabytes of it, onto an external hard drive? Let's get straight into it. So if you click on the storage logo here, you have your serial code section, but you have this library custom path down here. And right now I have it set to, it's going to the default folder, and that is under your hard drive. And I'm gonna show you guys how to go there first. This is the location that we have programmed the storage installers to automatically send the sound content to. Go ahead and click on our desktop until we see go at the top. We'll choose home. Let's choose music, audio music apps, studio linked, storage, and in here you see all of your different samples. So what we need to do is place this storage folder right here onto our external hard drive. Well my external hard drive, let's go ahead and move this out the way really quick, is this uh, external hard drive right here and it's named my passport pro yours might be named something else so this is the name of mine here so let's go ahead and do this what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this storage folder to our external hard drive so it's copying the, those files over Uh, now that those files transferred over to our external hard drive, it's time to choose a new custom path down here. So what's really important when you're naming this custom path is that you keep the volumes under here. You've got to keep that there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just delete these out of here so we keep volumes. And now we need to name, put the name of our external hard drive. And that is my passport pro slash storch so that it knows exactly where to look once we have that path in there what we want to do is click set new path and choose OK now what we'll do is close the plugin out and we're gonna reset this by uh, deselecting the plugin and then we'll load it back up and it should be ready to go loading in the samples from our new location here we go perfect and now it's pulling them from our external hard drive so if I click on my external hard drive we see my storage under here perfect Those samples are there and it's pulling them straight off of our external hard drive instead of our internal uh, Mac HD so that's how you do it guys enjoy